in the homework for three, the first four you had to match. Now again, notice that the vertex form of the formula is the same way we look at transformations. So in letter A, that it's number eight, notice that it's shifting the core graph to the right four and it's reflecting it. In B, it's shifting up three and no horizontal movement. So your vertex is zero three. In C, it's shifting to the right two. There's your X minus two. And in D, it's shifting plus three up, but that negative is causing that to reflect first. In the next four, you just had to describe your transformations off of your core graph. This will help you get down the vertex formula. So the first one just has a reflection over the x-axis. Find your vertex at the zero, zero. It's opening down. In number 11, you've got a horizontal transformation to the left three. There's your vertex, negative three, zero. It's opening up. Then we go a horizontal negative one here. There's your vertex, negative one, zero. And in 15, you're shifting to the right three. There's your vertex. In the next group, you had to complete the square. If you notice 23, it was already completed. If not, and you group them, you would add 16, subtract 16, and it would work out the same if you did this and you added 16, and then after the parentheses, then you subtracted the 16. This would come out to zero and you'd still get the same result. Your vertex is at four zero, it's opening up, your y-intercept, plug in x equals zero. There's your y-intercept pretty far up. And your x-intercept, plug y equals zero into the one where you completed the square. In 25, group the two and take half of negative one, which gives you your one-half. One-half squared is one-fourth. Put it here and here. That completes your square and that gives you a one. Again, you have a parabola that's opening up. Find your roots. In 27, you have a negative out here. A has to equal one, so factor out your negative. When you take half of negative two, you get negative one. When you square it, you get one. To bring it out of there, you have to distribute that negative one and put it here. Be careful because five minus a negative one will give you plus six. You now have a parabola that opens down, vertex of one six, and you can fill in the rest. 29, you're factoring out of four, taking half of one, which is one half, again, squaring it to get one fourth, distribute it across, and take it out. So it's a parabola that opens up, do your vertex, same as your transformations. In the last, be careful of 31. 31 the negative is outside. If you want to redistribute this, negative x squared minus 2x plus 3, and then regroup this one, take out the negative, x squared plus 2x, plus something, and then you still get the plus 3 and the minus something. That might help you make sure you get that plus 3 out here. So complete your square. When your roots work out and they're rational roots, you have to resolve each one of them. Number 33 was nice. It grouped, opens up, Use your transformations if you can't find your formula. Number 35, factor out your negative 2. And remember, we can leave our 
roots irrational if you have to. On 37 and 38, and that's all you had to do because I didn't give you the points on the other ones, we'll take this off your graph. You had a vertex, so work with your formula. Fill in your vertex point, your H and K, off of your vertex. Then use either one of these points as an XY. Plug them in your XY so that you can isolate the A. When you find A, just put it back into your equation. And do the same thing with 38. Use your formula. There's your vertex. Plug it in. Use your XY point. Plug that in. Find A and then put it back into your formula.